It's time for business news with Richard Southern. The Ford government has scrapped license sticker renewal fees, but drivers aren't completely off the hook, Richard. Yeah, there's some facts here that maybe not all drivers are aware of, Erica. I want to make you fully abreast of the situation because this could cost you money. So, yeah, the stickers have been done away with. You don't need to buy your license plate sticker every year. You do, though, still need to renew your plate. If you don't renew your plate every year, which is now free, you could face a fine if you're pulled over. Anywhere from sixty to eight thousand dollars. So you need to make sure you get your plate renewed for free, even though you don't have to buy the sticker. Uh, there's some more bad news here if you're forgetful like me, because in addition to doing away with the stickers, the government also scrapped the mail out reminders. Uh, you can, though, sign up for an email, text, or robocall reminder to let you know when you need to renew. So good to keep that in mind, Erica, with gas prices where they are right now. We don't need any other fees exactly. associated with the car, you know? Yeah. Okay, product shortages continue to plague grocery stores, and shoppers could have trouble finding one hot condiment as we head into the summer. Erica and I were panicking during the break because <laughs> we're both fans of this sriracha sauce. A lot of people have it in their fridge, Erica. A very popular, maybe the most popular hot sauce, right, in those iconic red bottles. Uh, the company that makes it, Hoi Fung Food, says it cannot make enough of it. The reason a major shortage of the chilies, uh, which are the main ingredient, those little guys there, they can't get enough of them due to weather-related issues. Uh, Hoi Fung says it's not accepting any new orders for sriracha sauce. Any prior orders made before uh, April won't be fulfilled until after Labor Day. Customers not taking this lightly. Some sriracha aficionados taking to social media, Erica, showing their shopping carts full of sriracha sauce. People are hoarding it now, yeah. Erica. That's not. Let's not hoard. Leave some go. for everybody here. It's just going to be all sriracha in in their uh, in their fridge. Okay. <laughs> Imagine cleaning out your car and finding a set of gold teeth. That actually happened to at least one Uber driver, Richard. Yeah, we were talking the other day here on City about the uh, Uber's lost and found uh, list. It was the global listing. Now Uber today has come out with the Canadian, the, mo the most unusual items left in Canadian Uber cars. What were people forgetting? Uh, one of them, once someone forgot a submarine sandwich and they complained about that. Don't want to lose that. Uh, three packs of dish soap with something else left behind. Construction tiles. Yes, gold teeth and grills. That's that's where I left it, Eric. I knew yeah, I left them somewhere. There you go. Uh, tiramisu cake, don't want to forget uh -oh. that. It's the Italian It's the Italian pick-me-up yeah. uh, birth certificate. That's another bad one. So uh, riders in Quebec were the most forgetful, according to uh, Uber. Believe it or not, Toronto ranked as the least forgetful city in Canada. Yeah, I always double-check before I leave an Uber. So yeah. Check your pockets. Do I have my phone? Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine people forgetting their phone. Or I would their always gold check teeth. for that. Yeah, okay. Or their gold teeth. <laughs> Thanks for that. That's business <laughs> editor Richard Southern. See ya.